How many nuclear strikes could U.S. submarines deliver if everything else were destroyed? The peaceful skies over America, the quiet streets, and the cozy homes all rest on an invisible foundation of steel and uranium hidden deep in the oceans. While the public discusses political crises, economic challenges, and social unrest, somewhere thousands of miles from home, in the cold waters of the world's oceans, stands America's ultimate shield. Nuclear-powered submarines armed with intercontinental ballistic missiles and thermonuclear warheads. Among America's nuclear triad, composed of intercontinental ballistic missiles, strategic bombers, and ballistic missile submarines, the submarines are the most vital component. In this video, we'll delve into this crucial shield, as well as the sword of the United States. What is it? How does it operate? And most importantly, what kind of destructive power does this sword possess? Stay until the end, it's going to be fascinating! The U.S. Navy's fleet of nuclear-powered submarines armed with ballistic missiles is a formidable underwater arsenal, lurking silently in the depths, waiting for a command that should never be given. These machines are not meant for defense. They carry a strategic payload of destruction that serves as a guaranteed deterrent against any adversary daring to act rashly against the United States. In the hands of American military forces lie the technology and firepower capable of obliterating dozens of cities within minutes. The backbone of this underwater nightmare is the Ohio-class submarines. Each of these submarines is not just a vessel. It's a fully operational platform of strategic weaponry, nearly impervious to detection systems. Their size and mass have earned them the nickname Black Ghosts, and it's no exaggeration. Displacing over 18,000 tons and measuring about two football fields in length, over 170 meters or approximately 560 feet, they are giants of the sea. With a beam and height of 42 feet (12.8 meters), these dimensions are imposing. However, their true power lies hidden beneath their massive hulls. Each Ohio-class submarine carries up to 24 Triton II intercontinental ballistic missiles each capable of delivering warheads with yields in the hundreds of kilotons. We'll discuss these in more detail shortly. Just one of these submarines carries an arsenal sufficient to obliterate an entire continent, such as Europe. What exactly is this maritime monster? Ohio-class submarines are advanced and highly sophisticated combat machines. They feature a cylindrical hull with truncated cones at both ends. The design incorporates streamlined extremities, housing ballast tanks, and a spherical sonar dome. The hull is constructed from high-strength HY-80 steel, capable of withstanding pressures of up to 100,000 psi. The walls are 2.5 inches or 63.5 millimeters thick, enabling the submarine to dive to depths of up to 1,200 feet or 365 meters. The heart of this 18,000-ton underwater Titan is its GE PWR S8G pressurized water reactor, powering two turbines with an output of 30,000 horsepower each, along with two turbo generators producing 4 megawatts each. In emergencies, the submarine is equipped with a 1.4 megawatt diesel generator and a 325 horsepower backup propulsion motor. Despite its size, approaching an Ohio-class submarine undetected is nearly impossible. It is equipped with advanced sonar systems capable of detecting and tracking targets over long distances. Additionally, it features electronic warfare systems and communication arrays for coordination with command centers. The submarine is divided into several compartments. The forward compartment includes the control room, torpedo tubes, and living quarters. The second compartment houses the missile silos. The reactor compartment, located in the middle, contains the nuclear reactor. Finally, the turbine compartment at the rear houses the turbines and generators. The crew of an Ohio-class submarine consists of 14 to 15 officers and 140 enlisted sailors. Given that the submarine's autonomy lasts for up to 90 days, it is equipped with everything needed for prolonged missions including comfortable cabins, dining areas, medical facilities, and recreational spaces. All life support systems are redundantly designed for maximum reliability. 
Recognizing the psychological challenges faced by crew members capable of unleashing unimaginable destruction, the submarine includes psychologists on staff, cooks providing diverse meals, and a recreational lounge with a small library for relaxation. When necessary, the submarine can replenish its supplies in designated areas of the ocean, with deliveries made by surface ships or even helicopters. Some mariners work in eight-hour shifts, performing tasks and routinely inspecting equipment to ensure operational readiness and safety. Now, let's address the primary reason these submarines remain submerged for months at depths of over 1,000 feet, risking the crushing pressure of the ocean or potential fires. The key lies in the Trident II intercontinental ballistic missiles. As previously mentioned, each submarine can carry up to 24 such missiles. Each Trident missile measures 44 feet, or 13.4 meters in length, and weighs nearly 130,000 pounds, or 60 tons. Each missile can carry multiple nuclear warheads capable of independently targeting different locations. A single Trident can deliver between 8 and 12 thermonuclear warheads. With W-76 warheads, each yielding 100 kilotons, a missile can carry 12 warheads. With W-88 warheads, each yielding 475 kilotons, the missile can carry 8 warheads. Designed for long-range strikes, the Trident II can travel over 7,000 miles or 11,000 kilometers, reaching any target on land from anywhere in the ocean. What makes the Trident II even more fearsome is its incredible accuracy. Its inertial guidance system, enhanced with celestial navigation, ensures a maximum deviation of just 295 feet or 90 meters from its target. Combined with a 445 kiloton warhead, it can annihilate any target, no matter how fortified. In a world where precision can dictate the outcome of conflicts, this capability is critical. Triton II allows the U.S. to strike directly at an adversary's heart, ensuring the complete destruction of the intended target. Each Triton II missile can carry up to 14 W-88 warheads, each with a yield of 475 kilotons. For perspective, that's over 30 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The warheads are equipped with countermeasures to evade modern missile defense systems. The Triton II is engineered to ensure its warheads can maneuver during flight, rendering them almost impossible to intercept. Ohio-class submarines can launch Triton II missiles from depths of up to 100 feet or 30 meters. Launches can be executed while traveling at speeds of 5 knots even in rough seas with waves of up to 20 feet or 6 meters. The first Ohio-class submarine, the USS Ohio, was commissioned in 1981. The most recent, the USS Louisiana, entered service in 1997. Currently, the U.S. Navy operates 18 Ohio-class submarines. Of these, 14 are armed with Trident II D-5 ballistic missiles, while the remaining four have been retrofitted to carry Tomahawk cruise missiles. Let's now assess the nuclear potential of the U.S. Navy's ballistic missile submarines. But first, a critical note. In accordance with the new START Treaty, signed in 2010 by U.S. President Barack Obama and Russian President Dmitry Medvedev, the number of missiles on Ohio-class submarines was reduced from 24 to 20. This adjustment ensures compliance with international arms control agreements. Now, let's do the math. Each Trident II D-5 missile can carry between 8 and 12 nuclear warheads, with independent targeting capabilities. This means a single Ohio-class submarine can carry between 160 and 240 nuclear warheads. With 14 Ohio-class submarines currently armed with ballistic missiles, the total number payload of the U.S. Navy's submarine fleet ranges from 2,240 to 3,360 nuclear warheads. The total yield of such a strike would be approximately 997 megatons, with W-88 warheads or 336 megatons with W-76 warheads. Such firepower could devastate the entire planet several times over. For reference, the land-based component of the U.S. nuclear triad includes Minuteman III missiles, each capable of carrying up to three nuclear warheads. There are about 400 deployed Minuteman III missiles bringing the total potential land-based warhead count to 1,200, with a combined yield of up to 402 megatons. 
As for the air-based component, comprising bombers such as the B-52, the B-1, and the B-2, and the upcoming B-21, they carry tactical nuclear missiles. Their combined yield is significantly lower than that of land and sea-based systems. At any given time, 8 to 10 Ohio-class submarines are on patrol in the world's five oceans – the Pacific, Atlantic, Arctic, Indian, and Southern Oceans. The remaining submarines undergo maintenance and repairs at naval bases in Kitsap, Washington, on the Pacific coast, and Kings Bay, Georgia, on the Atlantic coast. Each Ohio-class submarine spends 70 to 90 days at sea during a single patrol before returning to base for servicing and crew rotation. Given all this information, it's clear why submarines are the cornerstone of the U.S. nuclear triad. First, their combined payload and overall firepower significantly exceed those of the land and air-based components of the triad. Second, unlike land-based missile silos, whose locations are well known to adversaries like Russia and China, the positions of Ohio-class submarines on patrol remain undisclosed. Thanks to their stealth, they guarantee the ability to launch a retaliatory strike if the U.S. faces a nuclear attack. This makes them an essential element of deterrence strategy, as any potential adversary knows it cannot eliminate all submarines in a first strike. Unsurprisingly, this most crucial component of the U.S. nuclear triad is under constant scrutiny and development by the Pentagon and the White House. For over 40 years, Ohio-class submarines have faithfully protected America, patrolling the oceans and maintaining the global balance of power. However, these underwater giants are approaching the end of their service lives and are set to be replaced by a new generation. The Columbia program is America's answer to 21st century challenges, advancing the nuclear-powered fleet in a world where technology evolves at an unprecedented pace and defense requirements grow ever more stringent. The new Columbia-class submarines will form the backbone of the U.S. nuclear triad's underwater component for decades, ensuring strategic deterrence against any threat. Launched officially in 2016, the Columbia program aims to replace the aging Ohio-class submarines. This monumental project involves building 12 new submarines, which will remain in service until the 2080s. Each will incorporate cutting-edge technology making them nearly impervious to detection and capable of extended strategic patrols in the remotest corners of the oceans. The Columbia-class submarines will feature a new design optimized for stealth and long-term autonomy. Measuring 560 feet or 171 meters in length, similar to Ohio-class submarines, they will have entirely new internal systems. The reactor will operate for the submarine's entire lifespan without refueling, allowing up to 42 years of uninterrupted service. This innovation will increase patrol durations and make maintenance more efficient. The Columbia-class submarines will be equipped with 16 missile tubes, compared to the 24 on Ohio-class subs, each capable of carrying a Trident II ballistic missile with nuclear warheads. Although the number of missiles has been reduced, the focus is on quality and future upgrade potential. These new submarines will integrate advanced navigation and communication systems, ensuring reliable connectivity with command centers even under intense electronic warfare conditions. Enhanced noise-canceling systems will make Columbia-class submarines virtually undetectable. Special hull designs and active and passive noise reduction technologies will minimize their acoustic signature, making them nearly invisible to enemy anti-submarine detection systems. This will give the U.S. a decisive advantage in future conflicts, where stealth will be critical to survival and mission success. The first Columbia-class submarine is already under construction, with its launch scheduled for 2031. Over the next decade, the U.S. Navy plans to build 11 more, fully replacing the Ohio-class fleet by the 2040s. The program's estimated cost exceeds $100 billion making it one of the most expensive projects in U.S. naval history. This modernization ensures America's nuclear arsenal remains a formidable deterrent, especially as China aggressively expands its own nuclear capabilities. By 2035, China is expected to possess over 1,500 nuclear warheads, bringing it closer to parity with the U.S. and Russia, which each have up to 1,550 deployed warheads under the New START Treaty. 
This shift could force the U.S. to confront a nuclear landscape twice as challenging as it currently faces. Thus, advanced technology and updated systems are essential to ensuring that America's nuclear sword remains as lethal as ever. There should be no doubt about the U.S.'s ability to respond to any threat and uphold its status as the world's most powerful nation. What are your thoughts on the naval component of the U.S. nuclear triad? Does it meet modern challenges? Let us know in the comments and thank you for watching. We'd appreciate your likes and subscriptions, and we'll see you soon.